Jamie Lyon there just shaking his left wrist. I think he thought he got caught by one of the phantom sticks. Nothing given by Diana Cuglietta. There is going to be a penalty. Phantoms should be on the delay penalty. Here's Glenn Billing. Whipped in, stopped by Jordan Lorde. Jordan Lorde really well there. There was a Phantoms player and a D-man in front of him. But, uh, well, the penalty deep in the Phantom zone ends up with the Phantoms on the power play for the first time, Dan. It's looking a little bit too enthusiastic. Robson to McEwen looking for the movement. Big shot from Pitts to Panic. Lorde pads it away. Out to Robson. Back to Panic. Fairly slow moving power play from the Phantoms, Phil. I'm impressed with what I'm watching. Stepanik moving it quickly, has a shot on goal. Phantoms moving the puck with a lot of speed on this power play. We usually talk about them being very patient, but uh, on this occasion, very much looking like they're trying to get to goal early in this game. Chance, goal! Stepanik with the power play opener for the Phantoms. Let's just get that on a replay for you, but uh, it's Peter Stepanik who taps in from the edge of the crease. Well, there we saw it. Let's see if we get it again. So, yeah, we just see the shot there. It's worked across during the power play. So we see it come back, bit of a foot race. Goes round into the far corner. Looks like Rob Fro goes across. The panic just gets enough of it. Lorde's throwing himself down, trying to cover the gap under his arm. Beautiful hip check by uh, Robson. Robson checking his face. He's still Robson. So it's the panic, free and clear. It's the panic backhand off the pad and in. Goal number two, it's the panic with it there. Let's just quickly have a look at the replay. So there he goes. The panic deeks him, takes the shot up. It actually goes off the top of uh, Lorde's. Right leg pad, he won that one back, but here we see Stepanik, clear open in acres of space, stops, goes deep, shoots, and despite Lorde getting a piece of it, it wasn't enough. So with 13 minutes and 20 seconds gone, it's Stepanik with goal number two. Well, he looked odds on like he was going to double the Phantoms lead and double the Phantoms lead, he did, chance and a goal! The redirection from Padalek. Let's see that again. Let's see if we can go back a little bit further. So on the boards, Glenn Billing picks it up. Played in. And uh, the redirection inside the goal. So Greg Randall seemed to stop that with his hand. Thunder having to do a very quick and impromptu line change as well. Stepanek already on a hat trick. Corey McEwen, chance. Goal. Wrap round goal. Sousters with the second power play goal of the evening for the Peterborough Phantoms. Phantoms four. Thunder nil. And we had 32 seconds of that power play. Wow, what a start by the Peterborough Phantoms. Two power plays, two goals, four goals in 15 minutes and 20 seconds. Sorry, timeout Thunder after that goal. It's uh, a little slower off the marks at the start of this one. There you go. There's a power play goal. Glenn Billing with the power play marker, the Phantoms' third power play goal of the evening. Uh, all too easy from, uh, from the Phantoms, Dan. Yeah, absolutely. You had Weldon coasting in at the front. You can just see him going around the side there. Padlet laid the puck off nicely. He just skated in. It was very nice and relaxed. Thunder possibly not thinking the shot was going. Back to Billing. Billing just casually swept it in. Goal number five for the Phantoms, power play marker. Still with 30 seconds of that five minute major for the Thunders to kill. Chance, oh, and uh, that was number 96. Uh, Rubes with the opportunity at the back post. One minute and 12 seconds. Oh, Padalek fans on the shot. 
One minute and eight seconds of the power play to go. Will Weldon. Goal. So there you go, we'll sit in a minute in the replay, we'll see how it goes across. So, Weldon on the backhand, just sweeps it across. We've got, I think it's Captain James Fryer there on the corner. Weldon looks at the shot, goes back, straight onto James Fryer's stick, who sweeps it behind Jordan Lorde for the goal. The chirping from the Thunder fans, trying to chirp at Weldon there, falling a little bit flat as Weldon picks up the assist. Ross Green makes some space for himself, but it's picked off. Short-handed, Sousters. Goal! Short-handed goal, Stepanek with the hat-trick. Initial shot from Sousters, but then you've got Sousters and 66 Edwards. Well, it's so Edwards gets something on Sousters. Sousters goes into the goal. I wonder if the Thunder are going to complain that Jordan Lorde, was, there was an infringement. Yeah, we think that is the panic's hat trick. The goal's been given. Um, Glenn Billing chasing that one. That's uh, Ross Green who picks it up. Chance. Goal. Padalek picks up the uh, pass. Let's just see it again. So it's uh, James Ferrara to Padalek. Padalek with a one-timer. Do you know he hit that really hard? That was a, a tough shot, a very uh, short distance from Jordan Lauder. Number eight. Yeah, I think it's one of those ones that the puck was bouncing as he came across. Lorde saw it coming, moved across, ready to take it. Padalek managed to hit it, he almost scuffed it. I think had he hit it square, I think Lorde, it would have gone lower and Lorde would have had it. Scott Robson turns, he's got in front of his man, that's number 88, Talbot. Chance, bouncing puck. Oh, super stuff from Bainbra. Out come the Thunder, good pass to Jamie Lyon, who takes a shot from the... Whoa! A shot from the blue line. Jamie Lyon with a ripper from the blue line. 45 seconds of the period have gone and Jamie Lyon has absolutely rattled one past Ryan Bainbra. Yeah, so here we see, just pops out, Jamie Lyon is on his own, stops, shoots, goes high, blocker side high, which is quite a weak spot for most netminders. Just absolutely, rifle, absolutely rifles it home. <laughs> Two minutes of the period have gone. Chance for the Phantoms, goal. Sousters on his own. Yeah, we'll see from the replay now. Sousters comes in, holds, goes glove side low, which normally be a strong side for a netminder, but just lightning with that wrist shot. And uh, you see there, little backhand to take it in. Holds man off, stops, looks, shoots, beats Lorde glove side. That's one Lorde will probably want back. Shot, glove save. Ryan Bainbra flashes leather, and uh, we have a highlight reel save from Ryan Bainbra. Face off to be contested by Trevor LeBlanc. Right decision to make, and it'll be a face off again in the Thunder defensive zone with 1.44 remaining on the power play. Phil. Tom Norton on the blue line, down to Jimmy Ferrara. Padalek with a power play goal. Three for Alice Padalek. Phantoms, ten. Milton Keynes, one. Yeah, we can see there, it's just passed across. Thunderer pulled out of place, looking everywhere for where the puck's gone. Um, they, left, they left Padalek on his own. 
from a selfish point of view, to see a big, strong Milton Keynes side with lots of fans coming here in Peterborough, that would be good. Chance at the back post. Uh, Stepanek with his fourth. Phantoms 11 on the evening. That's uh, Stepanek with number four. Short handy goal. Remaining on the Second short handy goal of the evening for the Phantoms. And it's just in front of goal. Phantoms on the power play. Let me remind you, 118 of that power play. McEwen's at the back stick. And uh, he's the perhaps the only guy who you'd want on the scoreboard now that hasn't got on. So, chance. <laughs> Bainbridge. Bainbridge. Bainbridge saves. Call 999. Based off in the Milton Keynes defensive zone. It, it comes out to 66. Joe Edwards. Edwards strong in play, but he gets beaten. <laughs> it never gets <laughs> that never gets old. Goal! We're too busy laughing at the officials who've gone for a swallow dive. And uh, I think it was James Ferrara with number 12. Yeah, 17. James Ferrara goes in. Weldon was there on hand in case Lorde made the save, but wasn't needed. Panelak, backhand pass. James Ferrara one time ago, glove side low. I think everyone was watching Weldon to see what he was going to do. We do wish them well, because they've been great opponents to have up here. Uh, the Thunder have been, uh, well, we've been, we've been, uh, tourists in their league they've been a, a fixture of this level of hockey for, for as long as you like and uh, obviously they've been financial problems for them Stepanek unsurprisingly uh, man of the match and uh, he's just going to receive the beers from uh, from Warwick Davis and crew So I could actually uh, lip read Warwick Davis when he was saying that. <laughs> he looked up at uh, Pete Spanish and just went, wow. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, maybe he can put a word in first to panic on the next Harry Potter film if they need a replacement for Robbie Coltrane as Hagrid. As Dan was saying in commentary a few minutes ago, kept going until the very end. Phantoms just taking the applause from their fans. They win 12-1 on the evening. And uh, they secure their place in the regional semi-finals. We'll see you next week.